Hi guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. Today we're in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to create a vintage look to your image. This comes from a reader who uh, filled out the suggestion box and uh, saw a couple of really cool vintage looking photos on Flickr and I totally agreed with him that that would be a great tutorial so here I am and I'm going to show you my way of doing it. There's a million ways of doing it and this is the way that I would do it. Alright, this is a, a couple of steps. It's not that complicated. The first step we're going to be doing is to uh, change the color of the photo. Uh, after that we're going to desaturate, desaturate it a little bit and after that we're going to finish it off by fading the contrast of the images to get that really cool vintage look. So let's get right to it. First step, we're going to duplicate our layer. Let me bring the layers palette up here. Control J, duplicate layer, and uh, now we're going to change the colors in this layer. So I'm going to image adjustments, color balance. Now when you look at vintage images, um, you'll see that there's some green, yellow, and red tints in there. So let's do that. Let's put some green in there. That looks about right. A little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. Maybe a little bit more red. Yeah, I like it like that. Looks really good. Now I'm working the midtones here. I'm not working the shadows or the highlights. I'm sticking to the midtones for that. So uh, just play around with it. Get the feel that you would like for in terms of color. When you reach the color that you like, um, it's very subjective. So just uh, play it by eye. Click OK. Now the next step is to uh, reduce the um, Actually, you know what? We'll do the, the desaturation part at the end, and you'll see why I, I'll do it that way. So the next step is to fade the contrast in this image. Now, I'll show you two different ways of doing this. The first one is very basic. We're going to do a curves adjustment layer. And of course, in CS4, it opens pops up in a separate window so let me just bring it up here for you guys and what we want to do is get that black point right at the end and just move it up the side a little bit and you can see what it's doing it's removing the blacks from the images and until you get the nice feel for it I like it right there so that's one way of doing it and the second way is to create a duplicate layer let me just hide that layer for a moment create a duplicate layer fill it with white make sure your white color is at the foreground here fill it with white select your blending mode to hard light and, and of course you still see nothing and then reduce the opacity way down to where you think it would work well for you so around 18 percent for me it looks good now if we compare the, both of them this is the one with the hard light effect and this is the curves so they're pretty similar you get to about the same uh, effect so I just wanted to show you that there are two ways of doing it. If, if you're more comfortable with one or the other you can play with that alright now that we got our effect the next thing to do I find that the colors for the for the vintage looks are a little too saturated so clicking again on my uh, layer that where where I adjusted the colors I'll then just go into image adjustment hue saturation I could create a an adjustment layer for that too but uh, I figured I'll do it this way and then just bring that saturation down just a tad not too much just enough to lose those uh, high colors click OK let me remove the layers palette for you guys and this would be my final image. Now if you think that the colors are too faded out, you don't have to do a desaturation. I like it a little bit faded. If you wanted more reds, more greens, just play with the color balance. So this is a before and after. So before and after. So there you go, how to create a vintage photo look in Photoshop. This is Yannick Chauvin signing out. See you guys later. Bye-bye.